Here's another jewelry making video from Keepsake Crafts for House of Gems. Today we're making this necklace with these great long crystal and filigree dangles. So here you can see I've arranged our filigree components and crystals in the order that they will be strung as dangles for our necklace. So the first thing we need to do is take these three crystals that are at the bottom and string them onto head pins and we're going to make them into simple loop dangles. And a ruler is handy because what you want to do is trim the wire from your head pin to about three-eighths of an inch from where it comes out of the bead. And use flush cut pliers and have the flush side towards the part you want to keep. So we'll just trim it like that. And then go ahead and grab that with your round nose pliers and then twist the pliers to form a loop. I like to make the loop go a little past uh, so it crosses over itself and then when I grab it to kink it back if I did it right, it's usually perfectly closed. Do the same procedure on all the rest, adding them to eye pins. So here you can see I've made all my loops. The ones with the head pins are the three that are the bottom dangles. And one thing that you want to do with all of them is make all the loops on the same plane. And you can do that by using two pairs of chain nose pliers and just grab both loops and twist until they're lined up and both facing the same way then it's just a matter of putting it all together. So you open a loop by twisting it to the side, just like you would a jump ring. Insert your link. And then close your loop nice and securely. And then repeat to make all five long dangles. So once your three long dangles are made, it's just a matter of attaching them to your necklace chain. So find the center link of your chain. Now the pieces that have a crystal at the top are going to need to be connected with two jump rings in order for them to hang in the right direction so that the filigrees don't twist sideways. So open a jump ring, slide it onto the crystal and close it and then open another jump ring put it on the jump ring you just made and through the center link of your chain And then repeat, you can add these ones with just a single jump ring and add them to a link about an inch apart from the center. And then use the ones with the use two jump rings for the ones with the crystals. So here's a close-up of those connections so you can see how they're made. And then the last step is to use a jump ring to attach a lobster clasp to the end of your chain. So here's another look at the necklace we made today.